Hey guys, Sam Runner here, and today I have a video on my opinions for getting sub-20 and sub-15 times. Um, for both, I would recommend a nice sturdy cube, uh, such as the Along V2 or Along V1. Uh, the Along V1 has some corner twists, which have been resolved on the V2. The V2 is extremely fast and fluid. I would also recommend something like the Zanshi, maybe if, uh, a Waylong uh, V2 or something like that. A mini way long especially, those are really nice and sturdy. But uh my main is a mini my main is uh sorry, is a full size out long V2. So I will be using this uh, that the, this cube for this video. Um as far as turning goes, you don't need um you know any special finger tricks if we're talking about uh, sorry, E perms. You know, uh if you're sub fifteen I will, would recommend doing that. We do that. However, for sub-20, um, you can just do, like, re-grips. It can still be pretty fast. You know, and it doesn't take too much time. It only adds maybe half a second to time. But in the long run, when you're doing averages and stuff, and you're doing it for all sorts of different algorithms, it helps. So I recommend taking a look at other people's tutorials as well, but I uh, recommend for F prime something like this where you use this finger, or you can use your thumb in some instances. For example, the Y perm for the first F prime, I use my index finger, but for the second F prime, I use my thumb because it just flows nicer. Either that, or I Q rotate. Well, I don't really Q rotate. I do that. But I also find this has a nice flow to it. A little walky, but a nice flow nevertheless. Um, now, some people might be asking, do you need fast turning? You could turn at this pace throughout the whole solve, and probably still get around 15 seconds. Um, I'll just pull up my stopwatch here quickly. And use slow turning. Maybe not the best cross, and not the best F2O, and you'll see. Twenty-two seconds. That might have been a little slower than anticipated, but you can even get you know sub twenty. I was going a little slower. I wasn't sure where to how to pace myself because I haven't gotten twenty-second solves in a long time, or sub twenty sub twenty solves in a long time. Well, I am sub twenty, but um, you know what I mean, just sub twenty like nineteen eighteen. I haven't gotten solves like those in a while. So, but that was my guess. Um. As, you know, you don't have to turn that fast. Your look ahead doesn't really have to be that great. For sub-15, though, I would recommend a little bit more look ahead. Something maybe like... Uh, I don't know. Let me just scroll across this quickly. you know, 14, something like that. Maybe fast turning with little look head or slower turning but with greater look head. It's up to you, really. And I would, rec I would recommend that for sub-20 as well. But uh, for sub-20, start slowly and work on your look ahead, and then it, you can increase your TPS, and that'll help you become sub-15. So I'm kind of tying them both together in this. Um, what else was I going to say? So I've kind of already covered look ahead for F2L and stuff. For the last layer, no look ahead really needed. Even now, my look ahead for my last layer is not that great. If I just give this a quick 3-gen scramble. And if I just... Oh, you'll see that my last layer isn't very... It may be a little faster than some people who are some sub-15. I highly tout it, though. Um, but even with that speed, or a little slower, you could get, like, sub-15 times, easily. 
and sub 20 just a little slower than slowing the other last layer down. I don't know just slower slower you can still get sub 20 you don't need fast look heads for the last layer and as for after all look ahead as I already said start off slow and then increase your TPS as you improve your look head and soon enough your F12 will be so fast you can be just like Felix in about six years you can do it guys <laughs> um, as for learning algorithms for sub 20 you don't need full OLL it's actually it would be useful to learn and you can improve much more uh, much more quickly but you don't need to know it to to look is fine as for PLL I highly recommend full PLL I I can almost guarantee that everyone who is sub-25 knows full PLL. Probably. I'd say about 90% maybe. Um, and for when you get sub-15, I mean, you can get sub-15 with 2-look, but you have to be really, really fast at it. If you look at uh, Just Keep Cubing's videos, she hasn't learned full OLL yet, and she says so in the uh, description and comments sometimes. But you'll see that... Um, I don't know. I'll just, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, if she gets to something like this, or anyone who's like this, they'll do the algorithm, and then they'll just go right into their, um, one of the seven cases because they know what's going to come up, or they have an idea, or they're just fast at recognizing these cross cases. Whereas someone like me, I, you know, might mess up, but still get it done pretty quickly. So yeah. Um, I would recommend learning full OLL, but it's not mandatory. I don't think it's mandatory for either. Well, especially for sub-20, I consider it a little mandatory for sub-15. The, um, uh, the, but it's really, if you're aiming for sub-13 or sub-12, that I would really suggest full OLL, because it helps a lot, especially sub-11, which I'm working towards. I'm almost there. Um, I'm averaging about 11.2-ish. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for this video and practice. So things to get from this: get a nice sturdy cube, um, have finger tricks that work for you. I can't really tell you what to use. I mean, you know, when you're trying to get sub thirty, I can say, oh, don't do stuff like this, and you know, I don't have to reiterate myself. I mean, don't do stuff like this. Don't do wrist turns. I, mean, I think that's pretty obvious. As of now, um, use proper finger tricks, especially for like U's or U2's. If you want to use your middle finger, that's fine. There are people who have, uh, if you don't know, Ben Yu has the sub 9 average, and he does this, which is sick nasty. I think it's so cool. I just, I can't do it. Plus, I kind of bang my finger up, my middle finger. But yeah, have finger tricks down, and don't be afraid to kind of experiment as well. As for TPS, you gradually increase it as you increase your look ahead with F2L. You don't need much look ahead with the last layer, but it wouldn't help to improve it, and you can get faster times much easier. Um, anything else? What was the last thing I said? Oh yeah, no need for full OLL. I would suggest it for certain times for sub 15, like getting 13 or 14 second averages. I would kind of suggest it. 11 and 12, 10 to 12, I would definitely suggest it. But sub-20 is not needed, but definitely full PLL for sub-20 is what I recommend. And just practice, guys. I mean, it takes some work, but you can do it. Trust me. I've only been queuing for about a year and a half. And I am about 10 se I average about 10 seconds now. And I was so... I was just about at 20 within the first six months, I'd say. So you can do it, guys. Don't worry. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure to give it a like. And until next time... Um, have a great day, and make sure you subscribe. Bye, guys.